You'll see a lot of outdoor rinks. Um, I'll point one out on this pond up here, pretty similar to the one we had on the lake where we live. It's gonna be right up here on the left. We had a rink growing up. You know, we did that for years and years, so that occupied a lot of our winter. Hauling a hose down from the house, the boys usually scraped it, and then I would flood it. But, you know, we had snowfalls up to a foot. It would take me five, six hours with a snowblower. But I just kept it up, and it was kind of a labor of love for me. And I just think it's part of the culture here in Minnesota. We talk about the rink a lot and what it had to do with the success for the boys. And, Three or four hours of outdoor skating, when you've got the puck for two and a half hours of that versus a practice for 60 minutes, and you've got a puck for three minutes, four minutes, I just think it was a huge part of the success. There's no question in my mind. Justin Hall skated there as much as my kids did, and he was best friends with Max, Jake's brother, which is really cool that he's on this team now. Jake texted me about a month ago and said, Dad, we're doing that, the Gardner Classic. Make sure you have the deer meat ready. Get the trophy ready. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an annual thing that I do when they come to Minnesota. I've got all this deer venison that turns into sausage, and these guys just love it. He's a guy that'll do basically anything for anyone. He's very generous. This is the Daniel Deer Venison's deer oh, sausage. It's really good. Perfect. He works hard, but it seems like a lot of the time he's seeing what he can do for other people. There's little Henry. Jake yeah. has the same hat. He does. Yeah. Black. Last year, Bab said, "We know any outdoor rinks we could skate on in Minnesota? I think it'd be pretty cool." So we found this three-on-three -three rink that's right next to the Excel Energy Center. And my dad was all fired up, but we weren't sure if it was going to work out, but ended up getting it done, and, and it was awesome. Good, how are you? All of a sudden, these Toronto Maple Leafs are showing up in downtown St. Paul and skating outside in the full gear and going hard. You know, it was really, really cool. It's a really fun time for not just me, but everyone, you know, my family, my friends, and kind of have a day off, so to speak, have a little fun, play some three-on-three -three outdoors, get back to the, the old days growing up. things where it's unfortunate you know they're in different divisions so they only come here once which is really a bummer but at the same time it's been such a big deal it's been really cool to see kind of the community and our friends and our relatives embrace it and want to be part of it it's really really fun I think it's one of the coolest things Well, pretty much everybody I've ever met in my whole life <laughs> seems like is going to be here tonight. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Every year, you mark the calendar, and everybody knows. I swear, it's like someone's getting married. <laughs> it's like, well, not that weekend. That's the weekend the Leafs are coming. <laughs> Oh, I so look forward to it. And just to have Jake home and, you know, back in Minnesota where he grew up learning to play on our lake. And it's just, it's a blast. And Hank will be there. A lot of people get to meet him for the first time. A lot of the Minnesota friends. So it's always really fun. And we have a huge contingent of people who come. It's very important. I'm very fortunate to have such a great family, such such a great support system, and I, I think uh, Jake would probably say the same thing. 
We're surrounded here with our best friends, a lot of our, our closest family friends, and they're all here to see Jake and the Maple Leafs, so it's pretty cool. Zach Hyman muscles it in! Zach Hyman empty net! Good night! Goodbye! It's over! You know, I never heard him once ever say I'm tired of hockey or Dad, I don't want to go to the rink. I just think he's remained himself, which I'm really, really proud of him. You know, and it's fun seeing him be a dad. My dad's already talked about getting the rink ready for him too, so he's uh, he's one step ahead of me already. And you know, his dad was involved in my life. I'm sure he's going to be, you know, a big role model and and big part of his life too. You are so I bought him his first pair of skates. They were knit ones, actually, so I gave them to him. They were cracked up. So I said officially I gave Henry his first pair of skates. Jake wasn't too happy. But. Jake is a lot like his dad. He's very, very kind. His biggest thing, he's always worried about everyone else, you know, which is really, really cool. You had trouble here before? It's good. He's had a lot of success, you know, with hockey, but I think he always remembers who he is and where he came from. I am really proud of him, but probably more for that than, than anything else.